guys and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect and today we're diving back into some more Create Above and Beyond. So today is the day where we connect all the stuff up and get tier two basically ready. It's 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 not gonna be 100% fully automated as uh, there are some things like lava production and things like that that really need to be set because we do have this whole thing basically dependent on one generator. Um, so it is dependent on lava. So we do have that lava generator to think about, but right here is gonna be the start of everything. We need to get this connected so that way this starts to send all of our ingots over here. By the way, I'm gonna turn this the other way. So that way, I, if I ever need to come back over here, I can always pop in and grab some if there's any residual left over. Um, so this conveyor is going to lead here. And then I need to start a new conveyor line that's going to lead from here all the way to here. And then I need to take it up and then let's go ahead and start a new conveyor line because I'm almost positive. I can't click this, right? No, no, that only takes it up higher. So, and I don't want this to go higher. I actually want this to go here. It is good to know that I can actually click that with the belt for it to do that. And then right here needs to be a new belt line. So continuing the belts all the way over here. Let's see, where do I want to line this up at? I'm thinking right in this general area probably right here and then we'll start a new belt line that's going to lead over here so lots of belts i could probably have gotten away with um with using mine carts we're going to get into mine carts eventually uh, i want to get better situated before we really have mine carts up and running now i want to see can i power all of this here can i power this off of this windmill hopefully we can so now that I have the conveyor belts lined where I want them to go, I need to get the spout set up. And uh, then we're gonna also need to get the fluid out of here into the spout. Um, and we need, actually, I don't need this to be lined here. This could actually be anywhere. This is just to literally get the fluid. So what I now need is this material routed over here in a way that I can hook it up to all of this and uh, get ourselves another conveyor belt going that's gonna hook to this. It's gonna have all of our presses and have all of our deployers and stuff set up on it. So my belt is uh, is definitely going a, a long, a long way. It's definitely for a ride here. Um, it's lots of gears, lots of gears. Now, if I, I just don't know if I, there's a better way of connecting up belts other than this way. Um, but I'm trying my best, of course, to get belts like just going in better directions. I don't know. This right here and like, for example, for me, I'm like, hey, maybe I should just do this, take a gearbox, put that there. I know this is spinning the wrong way, just based on this one spinning the right way. So all I have to do is turn this to another gearbox and then that'll get that spinning the right direction. Um, so I have the belts. All of this basically needs to pull this out. And then right here on this conveyor belt, before it goes in here, because we're gonna have deployers here. Just go ahead and put the deployers down. So right here, we're gonna have deployers. Right here is going to be where the spout happens. And so this is actually spinning in the wrong direction. <laughs> oh, of course it is. Of course it's spinning in the wrong direction. Let's go ahead and change that. Um, I don't think, yeah, I don't think I need anything up there. That This is going to be hooked to this. Well, let's go ahead and get that placed. Now that's going in the right direction. I just need to hook up all these with gearboxes. Now pipes, on the other hand, pipe is going to probably go from the top of this over to here. And then the gear set up for this. I mean, honestly, we can just set up a, uh, a regular gearbox. That goes here. And then I would say do a bunch of cogs, but cogs are going to go here for sure. Um, but how am I going to do this? I mean, to make it not super ugly, we can do a cog here line up to those cogs. So I'm a complete dork. The way I had it set up is not going to happen. Absolutely not going to happen because 
I had this laying on the floor. Well, the whole reason why I have this setting up and to have the spout on here is because I want to collect from this and have the rose quartz turn into the tubes and the tubes need to go into the deployer. So if they can't make it to the deployer, why I was going to hook them to this conveyor belt because I I'm a I'm <laughs> sometimes I miss things. So uh, so now I have this set up. And so it is going to allow me to go ahead and hook up the pipes. Maybe. Oh, here's the pipes. Um, so I'm going to route the pipes just like this. And then somewhere throughout this, I need to figure out where I'm going to put the gears to be able to, uh, to get this spinning. Actually, might be a good idea to put it here. Since I have the gear so close. Uh, so let's go ahead. I should be able to rotate that. Put that there. That's going the right way. And then hopefully we can extend our cogs. Just up and over. And like so. Bam. Also, with this rotation, it flipped. So I do need to flip this around so that way it's uh, the fluids are going the right direction. Okay. <laughs> That part's almost done. Now we need to tell this, hey, where, uh, what items need to go where. So the andesite funnel is going to do that. And I believe it's shift, yeah, shift to insert. So now when they get routed around, they're gonna go in here. And then we have this chest that's kind of a pain to get to now because of the way I designed this. But this should, chest should honestly be hooked up to this chest, which is also kind of a pain to get to. But, I'm not gonna do that for right now. I'm gonna take the uh, the items, I'm gonna fill them up for now um, until we get a good amount of these brass things finished. Oh man, this has been a long time coming already. If It just feels really long, even though I know it's not been crazy long. Oh, but still, but still. All right, now at this point, I want to start transferring the belt speed over to these belts. As best I can, anyways. Oh my gosh, I just started testing things out. Oh my, I could have been using this the whole time. I, this is, this is the thing, right? That I, there's so many blocks in this, and you have to understand. And you guys have probably been yelling at me the whole time, hey, Chosen, just use encased chain drives. Because that'll get all your belts going in the right direction. <laughs> Oh my, look at this. It's all going in the right direction. Oh, wow. The things I wish I would have known sooner. <laughs> okay, so all I have to do here is on the andesite funnel, I need to have this sending these out. <sighs> and then on the other side, I've got to get myself another andesite funnel. We go make some more andesite funnels. It's like all I've been doing is making andesite funnels and then making gears. And then now making in case chain drive. <laughs> oh boy, that's a thing. Uh, and then now I'm gonna be focused on getting lava because now that this is going to be sending my nuggets out, it should send the nuggets to here. This should stop by the way, because it is waiting for fluid. Um, and I just need to fill this up with lava to make sure we have enough to uh, to make it through all this. Since lava is one of the big things that we need right now, I'm definitely gonna focus on making this. Um, so I do need some blaze, so I will get a blaze rod there. That came from the nether. And uh, let's see, hardened glass. That's gonna require some nether quartz that's crushed up. So I can go ahead and get uh, a couple of those done for now. Everything else should be fairly simple for making the fluid cell. Like this thing holds 32 buckets, so pretty decent for, for where we're at at the moment. Um, so we have just about everything. Let's go ahead and finish crafting that. And then I should, there we go, have some of this laying around now. So let's pop in and we'll make ourselves some hardened glass. Oh, that's right. I need, uh, I need one piece of obsidian. So luckily I had an obsidian just laying around in the container, which is perfect. Hardened glass, I'm pretty sure it needed hardened glass, like it just won't take regular glass, so there you go. And a fluid cell, and I can go head down to my lava pit underground, or in the nether, 
There's a lot of lava in the nether. Um, but I can now head down there. Man, I'm so ready for like some sort of storage upgrade. It's like at this point, we have so much stuff. I, I don't even know what to do with it all. So luckily I had one more copper doodad. So what I was able to do was take that and then I'm gonna take this fluid cell and I have a hose pulley here. And hopefully I can safely deploy a hose pulley like so. And I need a hand crank. I don't know what direction I can put this on. Oh, right here. And I need to send this down. So shift until it goes all the way down. Once it's all the way down, I should be able to hook a tank up to it. And it should fill up. Oh boy. Or not. Actually, do I need to actually pump from this? Oh, that's probably the case. No, wait. I might be able to set this to auto input and then configure this side to pull. Aha. That's how it's done. And that basically just allowed me to come down here and automatically fill this thing just by placing it next to it. Oh boy, now collecting it without it going to the lava. Oh, or me going into the lava. Oh, I'm I'm dead. <sighs> well, uh uh yeah, uh fair warning. Um should have mined some more blocks. That's I mean, it's not like they're all around me or anything. Uh well, I do have this set up at least and all I have to do now is make another one of those tanks and <sighs> all my picks again. You know, I uh I needed a solution to my inventory, but I I didn't mean like uh to, to for everything to go away. <laughs> I didn't mean to lose my backpacks and everything. Like my backpacks are gone. Uh question, how actually that death location actually might be helpful? Is that literally right back here cuz we could set up a hose pulley right back here? Oh my gosh, it is really close, actually. To, to just have it completely pill for the, But anyways, that's completely beyond the point. I've got, I've got to rebuild all my stuff. So I somewhat have all my stuff together. I even have a bigger bag now because I was able to go ahead and uh, expand it some more because I had more leather. But, oh man, I was, uh, I was not expecting that to happen. So, let me waste a bit of lava here. And because this is probably best done higher up, but yes, I should be able to hook this in. There we go. Oh, and you can hear it actually draining the lava from over here. Okay, now all I got to do is just walk down here, fill this up, and then I can take it back upstairs without dying and losing over 30 plus levels and all of the stuff that was in your bags. And oh my God, I don't even want to think about it. The less I think about it the better off we are. Uh, I mean, it's not like we can't just remake everything we had anyways. So I think we're just about done with this chapter for the most part with chapter two. I think there's a little bit more left to do and that's gonna require auto or lava automation. I almost assume uh, some sort of lava gathering. We, we have to figure this out. So uh, let's go ahead and I think I need a little bit of brass over here to just make the casings. Like this is literally what this was designed for. So let's do 16. I know this is flipped backwards, <laughs> but that's because when we played around with this, putting the basin in, yeah, I ended up to be able to get a basin here. Oh, that was a, that was a mistake. <laughs> I ended up flipping everything around. So let's go ahead and get this chapter complete by doing at least one of these sheets. And then I just need a log. And this makes a brass casing. And then we surround this. I know I made one before, but there we go. That's two of them that were basically automated. Like I didn't do that. That was automation. So now with that done, we actually get more of them, which is awesome. And we get some more brass ingots and all kinds of fun stuff. Now it tells us in here to go check for bottlenecks, which I did. Um, and I actually already have fixed one bottleneck that I noticed. Um, so the one bottleneck, the main bottleneck is lava. And then every time it shuts off due to lava, this has to be reset. So um, that is a bottleneck in my opinion, but that one's a little bit harder to fix. 
Um, the only other bottleneck was this. I had to move this backwards and then add a clay drawer because I forgot that this produces more than just sand. It produces clay, which gunks this up and thus stops the whole production here uh, for our Sirtis Quartz. So with that done, I mean, all we got to do now is check on this and go back to the overview and then check out this. So we need to go deeper. Access the zinc machines will require some engineering in another dimension. Um, even if it's literally hell. Oh my gosh. Okay. A change of scenery will bring forth new ideas and inspiration. After hitting the check mark above, additional quests located in the second chapter will be revealed. Okay. So now we should have new chapters, just like in the first section, just like we opened up here. We should have new sections here. Oh boy. So double decker. This is talking about this contraption. Oh man, Infernal Mechanism is a bone milled source of soul essence. Thankfully, the vines of the underworld seem to carry it in them. Twisted vines uh, grow upwards and you can gather them with mechanical harvesters. Okay, so we're gonna need twisted vines for things, I assume, um, that can apparently make weeping vines, interesting. And then these are going to be used later on, I'm guessing, to make liquid soul. Uh, okay, that's going to be a thing. Um, so we can check that. Oh, yeah, because this is the soul. So, yeah, we're eventually going to have to make liquid soul. That's going to be the ultimate job of this. And what is that complete for us? Zinc machines. So what are these actually used for? So that's a foundry controller. Zinc machines. Ah, so this unlocks thermal stuff like an igneous extruder, nullifiers, the next tier of integral components, um, a drawer controller. That's a drawer controller slave, not a drawer controller. The ability to get mobs from, from spawning. All oh, this is pretty nice. A vacuumulator for, for picking up stuff and an actual drawer controller. Okay. Interesting. Drawer controller opens up a lot of stuff, by the way. Like the ability to make a drawer controller is pretty crazy. So that's going to require extra steps to get that. I'm hoping this isn't too crazy difficult to do. Um, but we do need to at least make our way in collecting these vines because we just don't. I don't think I seen those when I was in the nether. By the way, I also don't have armor. Uh, is there such thing as a brass armor? No. Oh boy, we might just have to wrap ourselves in iron and just cross our fingers anytime we're in the dimension. So I want to test some stuff out that will hopefully get our storage issue kind of under wraps. Um, so I still have my cobalt barrels, thankfully, even though we have tons of cobalt and I can spend it on more. I want to test some things out as far as storage goes. We do have the brass machines and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and take some diamond because one of the things we can actually get into is called Pretty Pipes. It's a very interesting mod here, but I am very unfamiliar with it. Um, and I did notice there's only one pipe type anyways. So if I go ahead and, and craft up this, I can exchange this over here for a item terminal. And then for a little dab of redstone, uh, let's see, three redstone, I think, and a crafting table. Should probably keep a whole thing of redstone over here. For just a little bit of redstone and a crafting table, we can actually get access to what is actually a pretty expensive item normally in the mod. So it is pretty nice that it's just basically giving it to us. So here we go. Redstone and then a crafting table. Right there gives us the crafting terminal. It says allows requesting of ingredients from crafting recipes and it um, supports auto filling from JEI. So that's pretty awesome, like that it supports that. Um, but we do need pipes in order to connect to this, to have a pipe network. Now there's a lot of different things that we have here that um, are a part of pipe networks, like all these different things control our pipes. And then we need a pipe wrench, which is gonna be a bit of iron. Uh, I think, what was it? Three, three iron and then a flower or a rose bush, either way. So there we go. And uh, last but not least, just a pipe, basically one of the pipes that we have. 
Okay, so that's gonna allow us to configure everything. Let's see if I can't set up a little area to work on this. So I'm hoping this works uh, in a way where if we have drawers or anything connected to it, and we connect pipes to this, and then we connect the controller to it, then we can access the things that are in this. So if I throw five in there, they don't exactly show up. Oh, they do show up. Okay, so that does work that way. Um, so, and we do have options here, order amount, descending, and JEI search. Okay. Wow, this is going to be fantastic then. And then I'm guessing, so let's just try and craft ourselves like an iron block. And let's just see how fast this actually is. I mean, all it is to do is send it here. There is a way to speed this up with RF. Um, but let's just go into JEI and say iron block. And then what we do is we request that and hit request. And we have to wait for this to fill. Ah, so you can see right there, it is pretty slow. But it does complete. And so the more you request, you know, the, the better off you are. And then um, how do you clear this? You have to go through, I guess, any other time you'd go through would clear it out. And I guess you can right click it. Okay. So that's that. Um, now, one of the other items I've seen uh, requires power, but we can actually make ourselves some easy power, believe it or not. Uh, and we have another brass machine. So this will give us access to what is called a pipe pressurizer. So let's go ahead and test this out. So we pop that in there and we get ourselves a pipe pressurizer. Now, like I said, this said that it's going to require power to keep this pressurized, and I, I bet this makes things go a bit faster. So I went ahead and made myself a Sterling Dynamo, and I can go ahead and chuck some logs in here. We have so much as far as logs go. This should hopefully power that bad boy up. Now, let's see, iron block, how much faster this is. Oh yeah, that's that makes it a bit more usable, in my opinion. Definitely a bit, yeah, a bit more usable. So after re around, rearranging my house, rearranging, rearranging my house here, uh, I have all of these cobalt barrels up here that are holding my items. And you know what? I like it. It's a very basic, very basic system for crafting until we get into something better later on. This is definitely what I've been needing. Uh, now, lifesavers over here, pressurized tubes, talks a little bit about it. Uh, it says belts and arms are great, but something we still... Uh, it says, uh, we will still give into the, the guilty pleasures of using pipes. Um, so these tubes, however, can, uh, even serve as a sophisticated logistical infrastructure. So, um, so yeah, it talks about item crafting and requesting on them. I wish I would have read that earlier. <laughs> uh, I still don't know what some of these Bryce, like these modules do. Oh, I guess these get turned into the modules. So are we able to... Are we going to be able to, this is a retrieval. Can we use pipes for some stuff? Oh man, I really want to use pipes for some things instead of belts. Oh man, because belts just get kind of ridiculous after a while. So yeah, I decided to go ahead and get myself a Sterling Dynamo since these are so much easier, I think, to set up and will last so much longer. Um, this is definitely going to be the way to go instead of lava at the moment for this particular setup. Yeah, lava, you, I'm sorry, but you just got to go. And I can even increase this by taking out the hardened from here. I mean, lava, you'll be great once we have automation. But for right now, I think this is the way to go. Stick that in there and then upgrade this with a hopper. And then literally just place like a barrel here and just make sure we have wood going into this. And that's going to last quite a while, producing the same amount of power, by the way, <laughs> that the lava was producing. ADRF per tick and uh, yeah, actually has a pretty decent burn rate as well. It doesn't consume as much. So, and we, we have infinite wood. So that's a good thing, man. I tell you what, today has been one crazy hectic day, but I tell you what, we got quite a bit done. And of course I do want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video. And where can I go ahead and place it? I guess right here'd be a good spot. And I want to say a huge thanks, by the way, 
to Timothy McCoy. Thank you so much for your amazing support over on Discord, becoming a Discord premium member. I absolutely appreciate that. And of course, guys, if you're interested in becoming a Discord member yourself, you can, of course, find that at discord.gg forward slash chosen architect, or you can find everything linked down in the description below. By the way, I just wanted to mention that I do live stream over at Twitch, so if you wouldn't mind giving me a follow over there, I do live stream Monday, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Fridays, at least when there's no major holidays around, of course. Uh, but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, we got quite a bit done, and I'm super excited. And of course, if you did learn something, click that subscribe button, especially if it's like your, I don't know, sixth, seventh, eighth, or ninth video in, then you should probably click that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And of course, guys, give it a huge thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video, and as always, Thanks for watching.